must save her. My daughter. How's it going guys? Lucian Sword here, playing some more Breath of the Wild for you guys today as always. Hope you're all having a fantastic day wherever you guys might be. We are continuing our journey to save the Princess Zelda. In today's episode, we're going to be tackling some side quests. Specifically, I want to go back to the Korok Forest to turn in a couple quests that we have. But also, to try to get this strange mask rumor. It says, The treasure chest containing the Korok mask is hidden in the hollow of a terrifying tree in a forest that causes those who enter to lose their way. Find the forest and locate the treasure chest. So, that's what I want to do. I climbed up this epic tower here in Hateno Village just to see if you can, and of course, most of the things that you think you can do in this game, you can do. It's just one of those awesome games like that. So, <laughs> Cookie's still chilling in the Valley of Death over there. Uh, we're going to go ahead and warp back to the Korok Forest. And I'm not going to warp right into the forest itself. Because I did a little research online. And you have to find this mask, you basically have to go through the forest again. And um, once we get to the final torches, where there's like two torches. You remember how you can follow the wind by looking at the, the way the torches are blowing? We basically have to follow those torches even after the wind changes direction on the, uh, the final two torches. All right. This is actually one of those places I, I... Oh my goodness, I almost jumped off. I remember there's a royal claymore up here. Let's see if it respawned. Oh yeah. Not sure that I need it. Let's check. Eh, I'm not a huge fan of two-handed weapons. They're just so slow. Yeah, I, I don't really want it, to be honest. It looks cool, though. Alright, so... Let's head on that way. I will say the Lost Woods is really terrifying looking. I'm not sure why that is. You know, like, once you get into the Korok Forest, it's beautiful, full of life. But man, getting there, it's just a dead, like, haunted woods. I wonder why that is. I love the music here. I love the fog. All right. Lost Woods Part 2. Now, I'm just going to follow the torches this time. And hopefully we can find the Korok mask, guys. I've never found it in this game yet. So I'm hoping we'll be able to. Actually, uh, while we're here, let's call Wolf Link. He'll get rid of all these uh, forest animals for us. Oh, come on. I, I called in Wolf Link in here before. There he is. Also, let's uh, let's let's call in Champion Daruk's chest. See if we can get the the mask. I can only do it once per day. This is our third attempt. Third time's the charm. Ah, another stone smasher. Don't need it. Gonna leave it. Maybe next time. All right. I see a lot of torches. All right. So we're gonna go there. Go over here to this one. And then it looked like they were way over here. Oh. Alright, these are the two final torches that it was talking about, I think. Now, instead of taking this uh, torch and following the wind, I'm just going to continue to go this direction. And I'm just going to keep going this direction until I get to a tree that I can make Nisus a chest out of. That's what the that's what the internet said, so I don't know. I've never done this before. 
chest in here? No. Oh, there is a chest. You can't make Nisus it, though. Not the right one. It's gonna be an EX chest. Right? Wow, Wolf Link, you just did something crazy there. It's definitely gonna be an EX chest. We just have to keep going this way. No, 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 no. Darn it. Let's try again. Let's try again. Alright, let's just let's try again. We gotta keep running in the same direction. Maybe I got a little bit off path or or maybe I passed it. It's kinda hard to tell sometimes. That's why I'm kinda using this. Ooh, what's that over there? See? We found it. I wouldn't have seen this if I didn't use my magnesis. Heck yeah, we got it guys! Oh, we get the Korok Mask. A mask inspired by those fun-loving Koroks. It shakes when there's one hiding nearby. It's actually useful, too. Kind of creepy looking, but hey. Alright, now that we're here, I'm just going to teleport into the Korok Forest. Now I'm one of them! Kind of. I imagine this would be useful if you were actually trying to find like every Korok in the game. Actually, since I'm in the Korok Forest, uh, we're going to turn in those quests and we're also going to see if I can expand my uh, stash, my weapon stash and and all those. Man, that mask does look kind of creepy on Link, not going to lie. I did the uh, the trials or whatever, and I never even uh, turned in the quest for doing the trials. <laughs> hey, Hestu. I got some more seeds for you, buddy. Shuck, shuck, and shalaka. Um, I guess, let's see how many for the weapon stat. 12? Oof, that's a lot, but. I, I feel like I already have so many weapons, like, I don't think I'm ever going to run out of weapons. So I don't really need any more. But, hey, why not? If I can, I might as well. Alright, now I got three rows of weapons, so I feel like I'm good on that. I don't need any more weapons. I don't really need any more bows or shields either, to be honest. Like, I never run out. Let's see how many it costs. Five for the bow? Why not? Let's do it. I bet you it's five for the shields too and I only have four. Yeah. Alright. Let's see. Let's see how much it costs for the shield. Probably five. Yeah, alright. We'll come back another time. How sad. I just gave you, like, a bunch of seeds, man. You should be happy. Oh, my game's lagging. Alright, yeah, we need to turn in the quest of this guy. I totally forgot. Oh, and this guy. Yeah, I got the picture of the glowy bunny for you. Remember? What? What? Wait a minute. Is that a real bloopy? It is. Wow, it's even more beautiful than Peaks imagined. Thank you so much, Mr. Hero. Now I'm content. Oh, and here's a little thank you gift. Peaks didn't forget. Hey. Thank you. Also. What? You finished all of the trials? That's amazing. You're so cool. Ah, I know that look. You want me to give you something since you visited all the places, don't you? I guess I have no choice. I'll give you my treasured item. Thanks. Not exactly what I would want, but... 
All right, let's see if they have any arrows or anything I can uh, stock up on in here. Let's see. Still not restocked on the arrows. You do have shock arrows. I don't really need any, but. All right, to support the business of the Great Deku Tree, I shall take five. Thank you. Wait a minute, pick up. I feel bad breaking their pots. Alright, I think that was all I needed to do here. Uh, let me check my adventure log. We have a lot of side quests. Royal Guard Skier, Leviathan Bones, Thunder Magnet, Misko the Great Bandit. I want to start doing uh, these side quests. And then like every 10th episode I'll try to do the Divine Beast. Because I might need the full hour to do the Divine Beast, so I don't want to start one in the middle of a half hour episode, you know what I'm saying? So let's just catch up on some of these side quests. Um, there's also shrine quests. We could do that. There is one in Goron City we could do. Uh, let's do that one. We're going to go to Gorko Tunnel, southwest of Gorko Lake. Alright. Let's see where that is. Where's Gorko Lake? I'm not seeing Gorko Lake. Oh, there it is. Alright. There's the tunnel. Alright. So let's warp to this shrine and then just head south. Ooh, I hope my, my Korok mask doesn't start on fire as soon as we warp to Death Mountain. <laughs> Should have equipped my Goron gear first. Oh man. Whew, I drank some tea and I, I put, I don't normally do this, but I, I put honey in it this time. Hmm. It was delicious. Maybe as some uh, bonus footage, I'll, I'll uh, open some more amiibos at the end of this video. All right, I don't want to start burning up right away. Put on my full fireproof armor. And uh, let us head south. See, this is that one shrine that I got when uh, I was trying to get to Yonobo. Good thing I had my shrine sensor on, man. I would never have seen it. Because, like, when you're walking on this path, you just don't see it. Um, let's see. Let's try to find the uh, Gorko Lake. Ah, there it is. Just a big lake of lava. Oh! Best part about Death Mountain is the ore. It's everywhere. Luminous stone. I should talk to that lady again and see if she wants to buy uh, some more ore. Some more luminous. Each one of those is 70 rupees, you know, I'm not complaining. Looks like we got a Korok over there, boys. Let's go check it out. Oh, now I can expand my uh, shield sash. <laughs> oh well, we. I, I'm not really hurting for it. I mean, look at all these shields I'd have to go through first. You know, it, it, I rarely break a shield, anyways. How much you want to bet? That is a fl a big uh, igneo talus, dude. I kind of hope it is because then we get a lot of gems. I don't think it is. Darn. I would not mind fighting another one, to be honest. Alright, so here's the lake at southwest, so... Let's see if we can find this tunnel. I think it's up here. Up over this little ridge. Ooh, a boulder. And some birds. <laughs> I knew it'd be a Korok. 
Got two Korok seeds right back to back, baby. That's what I'm talking about. All right, it should be... Uh, yes, probably where those enemies are. Ah, uh, here it is. Here it is. We don't even have to fight those enemies. All right, since we're here, let's uh, let's summon Wolf Link. He can get in on the adventure. Now that he's done uh, helping Zumwar in his Twilight Princess playthrough, he is our full-time helper now. He's he's retired, and uh, he he's come here. Oh, there he is. He's sleeping, or dead. Definitely sleeping with his eyes wide open. Phew, I'm spent. To think that somewhere behind all this rubble is the secret of the hero. I know I'll become really great and important if I can find it. My only problem is that I don't have the strength to go on. My belly's empty and rumbling like mad. What to do? Brother, so this is where you've been. Oh, wow, you were following me, huh? I tried to th I <laughs> just laying there. Oh my gosh. I tried to think like my brother and do what he would do so I could find him. So you didn't need my help after all. I need you to do me a favor. As a brother, I can't just sit idly by. I have to help him. Exit here. Head down the hill to Gortram Cliff. There you can find rock roasts rolling around. I need you to please grab one for me. I'd like more than anything to go there and get it myself. It's just while I don't have... I have a chronic condition. Yeah, it's called Goron Shoulder. Very serious. I'd rather not talk about it. Needless to say, I expect a lot from you. Please don't let me down. Wow. Okay. I vaguely remember uh, Zumwar doing this quest. I think we have to go down there and get something and then bring it back up here. Something along those lines. Alright, let's go. Can't really roll on the rocks very easily. Oh, hi. Come here, brother. That way I don't have to fight both of you at the same time. Where are you going? Oh, you got big boy arrows, don't you? Put down the bow, sir. I really don't even need to be using this, this weapon. It is like an ancient weapon of like, you know, Daruk or whatever, but... At the same time, it's, it's a weapon, I'm gonna use it. I guess those rocks would have just taken care of the slime boy. Alright, there they are, guys. We found them. Gortram Cliff. This one looks nice and tasty. Let's bring it back up. All the way. And, of course, more enemies respawn. Watch out for the cliffs. Like, just raining rocks. Are they going to shoot arrows at me? Pretty sure they are. Gosh dang it. What do you want? Oh my goodness. Alright. We took one out without even trying. Leave me alone while I carry this rock meat. Okay, where was I? Before we were so rudely interrupted. Any other, anywhere, anyone else want to die? Because death wish. Get him, wolf boy. Get him, get him. Good doggy. I don't even care about those slimes. I got like 500 of those red slime things. 
Ooh, I missed an ore right there. Is it faster to just like throw it, pick it up, throw it? Yeah. Oh my! Woo! Ah! Oh, uh, uh. I swear Wolf Link got drilled and it didn't even hurt him. It must have just went over him. Yeah, Zumbar is actually pretty helpful here in these situations because he can take care of the slime for me. Okay, that's actually a lot of them. I might, I might actually take that. Can't walk away from like 50 of these things. It, was Wolf like trying to eat that? It looked like he was. Oh! All right. Big boulder. No more, right? No more big boulders? We're, we're gonna make it? And this does look like the best, like, most tastiest Goron food. It's like, it's like meat, but it's a rock. You know what I'm saying? That's what they like. Alright, we made it. We made it. This will return you to your full glory. This will give you strength of 10,000 Gorons. Finally, I've been waiting for you. Go on, drop the roast in the pot. Quickly. Hmm. It's amazing. Of course it is. I picked it out. This is the finest rock roast I've ever laid eyes on. I'm going to cook it up right now. You actually cook your rocks? Ooh, it looks really good now. I did it! I made a deliciously grilled rock roast! Hmm? Am I hunger hallucinating, or do I really smell deliciously grilled rock roast? Brother, it's ready. You're gonna eat it and love it. And everything will be as it should be again. Look at this! It looks so tasty! I need to eat it right away! That's a bit hot. Yummy! Delicious! Incredible! That texture! That crunch! Oh! And that gritty feeling as it glides down my throat. Oh, yes! Can't forget that savory flavor of condensed minerals searing in high heat to perfection. It's a taste explosion. It's restoring my strength! I'm like a phoenix reborn and ready to fly! In fact, I am Death Mountain! Ooh. Your cooking is the best of the best, brother. It's like, obviously. Link is like, uh, I mean, I got the, the stuff, but... Now I'm full, my belly is happy. Let's do this. <laughs> Goron power! Go! My gosh. Wow, there it is. The hero secret has revealed itself to me. Weird, I feel like I've seen something like this before in Goron City. <laughs> so this is the secret of the hero, eh? Hmm, looks oddly familiar. Anyway, what an amazing discovery. That's my brother for you. That is actually an amazing discovery. I mean, who would have thought that the ancient uh, Sheikah would, would put one of these, like, literally underground in the middle of, like, a... Like, how lucky that we are to find this. The K Ra Ma Shrine. Do you guys think it'll be a blessing or an actual shrine? I'm hoping it's an actual shrine because I want I want to do a puzzle here before we end the episode. Give me a good puzzle, come on, game. Every I like the blessings, but I I haven't had a good shrine in a while. Ooh, it's not a blessing. Greedy hill, K Ra Ma Shrine. All right. Ooh. So if I stop, nothing happens. Okay. Oh, it's called greedy because there's like rupees that roll around, I think, and treasure chests. Up. Oh, they were on that side. I'm not too worried about the money. I just want to get a chest if I see one, you know what I'm saying? Wait a minute. Do they all just go down there? I can go pick them all up? Oh, that's what it looks like. Look at that. They're just... The money is just chilling here. All 
I mean... No, no! Look at this. Easy. Alright, let's keep going. I, I don't think they thought that people would just go back down and get the money, you know? I see a chest up there on the left. Wait, was that it? Was that, was that it? I was like, all, all of it? Okay. Ooh. Oof. I don't really want to go back down there for that. Woo! Clutch. Alright, I do need that chest, though. Please don't drop anything on me. What we get? Ooh, five bomb arrows, alright. Well, kind of a boring shrine, but, you know, better than just a blessing, I guess. Oh, come on, like, that was hard. Hey, you know what, though, guys? I think this is our fourth spirit orb, which means we can go get another stamina vessel. I think uh, before I do the next Divine Beast, I'm going to do at least the first uh, sword trials. And then I'll do another sword trial after that Divine Beast, and then I'll do another sword trial before we go do the final Divine Beast. How does that sound? I just want to get as much stamina as possible. The hearts, I'm not even worried about. Because you can easily eat food that boosts your hearts. You know what I'm saying? But it's harder to make food that boosts your stamina. You basically need Endura carrots, and they're very rare. Much more rare than hearty truffles, hearty bass, like hearty everything. You know what I'm saying? The Endura carrots are like the only thing that give you extra stamina wheels. That I know of. There might be other stuff. I mean, the extra stamina wheels don't really help me that much. Ooh, a blood moon. Somebody said that the enemies get, like, harder and harder after every blood moon. That's why maybe uh, Golden Boy started spawning. I kind of hope that's true. But I'm not sure if it is. Well, if we start to see, like, golden Lynels and stuff, then I guess we know. I have a theory that the Golden Boy spawned because I beat a Lynel. You know what I mean? We beat our first Lynel, and then not long after that, we saw our first Golden Boy. You know what I mean? I think it wasn't coincidence. Alright, so we did one of those quests. That was pretty, pretty awesome. Uh... Cool, cool. That's what I wanted to do. I'm probably gonna do some more side quests here in the, in the coming episodes. We'll get some of these, and then, man, because there's so many, so many cool things you can get with these. We got the Korok mask, and we got a shrine, so that's pretty cool. I want to get the dark armor, like, all this stuff, all this stuff I want to get. The trial of the sword, that's what we need to do. Uh, we'll do that as well. While we're here, uh, let's warp to Goron City real quick. Might as well get the stamina. And then, uh, if you guys want to stick around for a couple minutes, I think I'm going to summon some amiibos. See if we can get any more special armor. I'm not going to do the champion's amiibos. I already did Daruk. Still trying to get the mask from him. But I, will, I do have a stack of other amiibos. We can get uh, some of these other armor pieces that we need. Like the Twilight set, the Wind Waker set, the Ocarina of Time set. Etc. There's also a chic mask. Like, there's a lot of stuff we can get still from the amiibos. So I want to keep trying. Where is the little goddess uh, statue? Ah, here it is. Perfect. Alright, guys. This is going to be for two full wheels of stamina. Finally. We have 13 hearts. Actually, 14 because we, we did a divine beast. Wait, I don't have four? What? I only have three? I thought for sure I had four. Oh, I'm so stupid. All right, that's that's a bummer. <sighs> oh, well. 
Alright, I'm gonna summon some more amiibos, guys. If you don't want to watch this, that's fine, but we'll probably get some, some cool stuff, so I don't recommend sticking around. If not, thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. Please don't forget to drop a like if you did. And I hope to see you in the next episode, guys. Take it easy. It's actually a decent weapon. Alright, this is a Ganondorf amiibo. I'm pretty sure we can get some cool stuff from this. I don't know if this is the best spot to open, be opening chests, to be honest. Uh, I mean, I guess this is about to break, so I guess I'll, I'll take it. Let's actually walk out of Goron City a little bit. Oh. <sighs>